I'd like to wish you a happy new year. I'd like to wish you a happy, healthy 2023. We're here. You've made it. We still have two weeks left this week and next week in the NFL regular season. So while the rest of the world, the rest of the planet, anybody who follows this calendar is celebrating the new year, we're like, eh, yeah, two, two weeks left. And then we get a break, and it's like wild card weekend. The new year doesn't really start until after the Super Bowl. Am I wrong? But it's the new year everywhere else. I don't want you to feel out of place. Thank you. Thank you. You can see behind me we have the champagne pop in here. And I just would love to thank you one more time for being a part of what we do here at the Yacht Shopper Town. This doesn't happen without you. 40-plus thousand. I mean, this is insanity. And it's all because of you. Thank you. Can we go? Okay. Let's build a three-leg parlay. As you've already hit the thumbs up, right? You've already subscribed. You know the drill. Let's begin with what should be the easy leg in all of this. And upsets happen any given Sunday, what have you, but they ain't happening here. Daniel Jones, start to look at what you're getting on a consistent basis from a quarterback who's still – Leads the league, number one in interception percentage. Not because he's not only throwing a small amount of times. It's the times he is throwing. He's not making horrific mistakes. Wink Martindale, their defensive coordinator. We talk about this in the five for five as well. Wink is all over first-year head coaches. Has a fantastic record. He's already won straight up. And against the spread four times against first year head coaches this year alone. And that strong record continues. The Giants are in this spot where a win and they're in. Giants are certainly playing for a lot. Don't don't get this twisted. Martindale, by the way, 18 and two straight up, 15, four. I want to make sure, like, get your ears unclogged. 15, four and one against the spread. 18 and two straight up. So one of those two and now three is going to be what? A result of Nick Foles? Get it. Nope. Giants win. Not messing with the spread. Giants win. Next, Texans. Texans win. Again, we're going to budge just a little bit here and drop this from plus three to plus 145 and even some things out here in the parlay. But this is a bet that should be made. Right, This was at four and a half. It's down to three. Why? Well, because we know Jacksonville isn't playing for jack shit, and we know that that was always going to be the case, just like Mike Vrabel had no choice but to tip his hand to Doug Peterson simply because it was Doug, uh, it was Mike Vrabel's turn. He couldn't pass. He had to show what was in front of him. And at that point, we all knew ahead of time, but at that point it was like, oh, yeah, right. Jags ain't playing for this game at all. Houston on the other hand, has been playing tight in the last couple of weeks, games and and opponents tight at the very least. Houston's interesting here. They're 3-0 straight up against the spread versus Jacksonville over the last two years, 12-17 and versus everyone else. They seem to be able to beat Jacksonville for whatever reason, including this year. Trevor Lawrence, last two years. That's why we bring them up. Lovey Smith in those three games against Trevor Lawrence, including this year with Doug Peterson. Peterson. Doug Peterson. 21-16 and six points. TD interception ratio three to five. That's if he even plays. Get out. We'll take the Houston Texans on the money line right into the sunset with one final option. And that's just going to be, you know, I was split between one or two teams. So I may come back and add one more. I may get crazy at one more, but this right here is where we're going to end the three-leg parlay, and that's the Baltimore Ravens at minus two and a half. This is easy. Anything under five points, that's the must here. Anything higher than that, chances are it's not going to cover. And in this case, it's pushed below three, was at two at one point, but it's been pushed below three clearly because there's no Lamar Jackson. So we understand that. But... If you start to look at the records between these two coaches and where this series starts to trend, it's Kenny Pickett and lack thereof. So what we fall back on 
is that Kenny Pickett in 10 games is averaging five, five, five passing touchdowns. That's a half passing touchdown per game. He's going to have to run. Guess who he has to run against? Uh, uh, you know that old Jonah Hill? Cut it. Cut it. Just cut it. Just cut the day. If we didn't have stuff to promote and tell you all the wonderful things happening here, I'd just cut it at that and say, nope, you're not getting anything over at, at minus two and a half at the very least on a quarterback that's averaging a half a passing inter, a touchdown per game against a team that's going to be really tough to run against at home, mind you. So there it is. Giants, Texans, Ravens. Ravens on the spread. Texans and Giants on the money line. That's a plus 571 three-leg parlay. Now, let me tell you what's happening at DraftKings, all right? I'm going to take you on over to the NFL. Let's do this. I'm going to ask you to click a link below. So click that link below, and it's going to bring you to DraftKings. From there, sign up. It'll take you 90 seconds max to sign up. Deposit $5. So put all your information in, link an account, deposit $5. Then from there, take that $5 and immediately bet it on the Saints money line. All right? $5, Saints money line. That hits. Beautiful. If it doesn't hit, same result. You're going to get $200 in free bets right back into your account. You want to take the Saints on the points? That's fine. I'd rather take them on the money line either way. This is your $5 bet, okay? $5, bang, smash it away because it doesn't matter. That five is going to turn into $200 in free bets. NFL parlay of the week, all right? I, I, I can't. I can't throw something out there, a loaded gun, and not let you have it, right? All right, so... The reason is because I didn't play this because of the points right now. I don't feel comfortable laying points with this team, with this team. Where are we going? Where are we going? So what we're going to do is we'll just add the Washington commanders in on the money line. That gets us now to plus 1087. All right. There's your monster four leg parlay commanders on the money line, Washington versus a Cleveland team that is worse now with Deshaun Watson than they were previously without him this year. They're averaging less rushing touchdowns. They're averaging less passing yards. There's like a bunch of different things they're averaging because they're trying less, including points in the first quarter. Where is that? Nowhere. Nowhere to be found. You're not getting much because the Browns are doing everything to move away from what got them to a position of, okay, they're, they're okay, to now they're just a disappointment, which is running the football, things like that just to justify what's happening with Deshaun Watson. It's pretty obvious, pretty painful to see that if you're a Browns fan, if you're left as a Browns fan. But most importantly here, the commanders are the better team. Moving to Carson Wentz doesn't hurt. And while that was the move last week that wasn't made, this week they'll be fine. And it's probably going to be an under there as well, but it's at 41. That's a key number. I'll just take the commanders to win. And on the way out, I'll remind you about what's happening below on DraftKings and then ask you, of course, to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and welcome to 2023.